I heard about MFF from one of my students. Uh, he had won Ninja of the Month and gifted me his free three-week trial package. So I came to MFF, had my evaluation with Steph. She won me over with her humor and just understanding of where I was at this point in my life without any judgment. I remember stepping on the scale. Before I started, I gave her this look of trepidation and fear and she said, doesn't matter, it's where you are today and from where you are today, then from there we grow. It won me in from that first evaluation and then of course I was hooked. So my past gym experience is that I have tried literally everything. In high school, I was an athlete, I played soccer, I was on the basketball team, I was in shows, so I was dancing four days a week, I had personal trainers, had every different method of trying to get fit and get back to the shape that I was in when I was younger, and none of them really seemed to stick. It was like I could find something that would work for six months and then at the end of that period I would sort of retreat back into my old habits and not really find something that was sustainable. From like the very beginning with MFF it was totally different. I was actually having fun. I was looking forward to my classes. I was looking forward to the community. I felt like I was pushing myself physically but not at a rate that felt unattainable to sustain. Previously it was like I would find these paths and I would kind of like get addicted to those immediate results as opposed to like the results that would last over time and develop over time. And I felt like really proud to just be putting myself in an environment where I was going to be almost owning publicly that I was ready for a change physically. So that was something that I had never really opened up to before. I had done one-on-one -on -one trainings, but it was never something within a community of people where I was saying, I'm ready to be and do more. I would feel myself go to do something that previously I had done with other trainers and suddenly I could do it with ease that I hadn't, didn't even realize I was working towards that goal until suddenly I was able to do it without even realizing suddenly I was able to do more than I even thought I could. I really learned that I had been living with a public persona and with an inner view of myself. I wasn't even really aware that I was feeling about myself. The trainers and everyone really spoke a language that said like, you're enough, you're okay. So it's great that you're doing this thing to further yourself, but who you are right now today is enough. And that was something I had never even realized I needed until every, everyone said it and echoed it over and over again. And I never realized that I was sitting there thinking I was less than I was. Yeah, I found a new confidence in myself that I, I've never really fully owned who I am in the world. I would never have thought that of myself. I would have thought I was super confident, knew who I was, was a great friend, all of these things, but suddenly I realized I've found this strength and this person and this confidence that makes it so that when I walk into a room I feel electric, I feel charged, I feel excited to meet new people and to, yeah, just be myself and present myself without fear. I would say that I have the best version of my life I've ever had. I'm back to my old self, but that's not even true because my old self never felt as happy as this version of myself feels now. I think you can push yourself to achieve more, but also there's something about the community and all of the people and the trainers and just everything about Snatch that makes you recognize your worth here and now regardless of what you do to take yourself further. I would say don't hesitate.